Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-17 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress, and the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement of problem is that determine the resultant internal loading acting on section AA and section BB. Each section passes through the center line at point C. So, you can see this is the beam having a pin support at point A and a roller support at point B. And at this point, we have a load of 5 kN. So, you have to find the uh, internal loading in section AA. So, for that, you have to cut the beam at this and you have to find the internal loading. And then you have to cut the beam at section BB and you have to find the loading at point C. Both these uh, sections are passing through center point C. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if you remove this roller support at point B, so you will be having a reaction force. Let this force is N B clear. And if you remove this pin support at point A, so you will be having a reaction force having A Y as well as there is horizontal reaction force which is A X. So we can find them by using equation of equilibrium. So let's find the equation of equilibrium. We will find NB because uh, we will take, we will cut the beam at this section and we will take this regions for our, for finding internal loading. So for that I will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all movements about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So what we will do is that you can see that uh, if this is the horizontal, if I draw horizontal line, so this angle is 45 between this line and horizontal line. So this angle will be also 45 degrees. So it means that NB will have two components. One is this one and other one is this one. So this component will be NB into sine of 45 and this component will be NB into cos of 45 degree. So the first movement that is produced about point A is this 5 kilo, five kilonewton force and the perpendicular distance between these two points are 4.5 meter and it is producing clockwise movement so it will be negative. So I will write first 5 into 4.5 and that is negative. The second movement is produced due to this vertical component that is acting at this and perpendicular distance is 6 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive. These two forces are not producing any movement because it is passing through point as well as this horizontal component is also not producing because it is passing through this point. So I will write the vertical component which is NB into sine of 45 degree multiply by the perpendicular distance is 6 and this is producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive. So when you solve this you will get this NB will be equal to 5.303 kilo newton. Now you have this reaction force NB you can also find AY AX, AX but we do not need so what we will do is that we will uh, internal loading internal loading for section AA for section AA so section AA is this one so if you cut the beam here and draw the free body diagram so let me draw it first so let this is the beam there this is your section AA AA. So when you cut the beam, so you will be having a normal force which will be equal to NAA. You will be having a shear force which is VAA and you will be having a movement which will be MAA. Okay, this is your point B where you have a, this is your point B where you have a load NB which is 5.303 kilo newton and that makes an angle of 45 degree with here. At this point we have a 5 kilo newton load that is acting perpendicular. This is the load clear 5 kilo newton.
the distance between this end till this end this is 1.5 meter and from section this this, this is also 1.5 meter now we will find this internal loading by using equation of equilibrium so what we will do is that if you have this is your x dash direction and this is your y dash direction okay you will remove the arrow signs so we'll apply equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x dash direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so x dash is this direction clear so you can see in this direction one force is naa and the other force which will be in this direction will be its horizontal component which will be equal to 5.3 0, 3 into cos of 45 degree their sum must be equal to 0 so I will write it NAA is in our positive direction so NAA plus this this its vertical component and this is its horizontal component so this is NB into cos of 45 degree so I will write plus NB, NB is 5.303 into cos of 45 degree is equal to 0. So from here we will get NAA will be equal to minus 3.75 kilo Newton. Now this value is negative. It means that we have taken the NA direction in this is wrong. So N should be in this direction. Okay. But the value of this force is 3.75 now we'll find VAA by using equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must y dash direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see this VAA is in this positive direction and the other load this will be also in this positive direction and the third load which is 5 Newton is in negative direction there sum must be equal to 0 so I will write VAA plus this vertical component which is this one and this one is 5.303 into sine of 45 degree minus this load which is downward is equal to 0 so again when you calculate it you will get VAA dash is equal to 1.25 kilo newton so is since this value is positive it means that our assumed direction of VAA in this direction is correct in this direction is correct okay now we'll find this moment by using equation of equilibrium and that equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moments about point c is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so you can see this is a point c where we have cut this section so what we will do is that if you can see that these forces are not producing any moment because this is passing through so we have the reaction moment which is maa that is negative and because it is clockwise so i will write minus maa the second moment that is produced due to this load 5 into perpendicular distance is 1.5 this is also clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 5 into 1.5 and the third moment that is produced due to this vertical component about c and this will produce counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so this vertical component which is 5.303 I will write 5.303 into sine of 45, 45 and perpendicular distance is now 3. So I will write plus 5.303 into sine of 45 degree into perpendicular distance is 3. Their sum must be equal to 0. So when you solve this you will get the value of moments that will come out to be 3.75 kilo Newton into meter. 
since this value is positive it means that our resume direction of movement which is in clockwise is correct so this is the internal loading for section aa now we will find internal loading internal loading for section bb so for bb you have to cut it along this and you have to draw the free body diagram so let me draw it this is the beam this is the beam and uh, uh, let me draw it again because this is not a rectangular so this is the beam and this is the section bb B, B. here you have n that is 5.303 kilo newton making a uh, 45 degree with this here at we have n that is 5 kilo newton this distance is this distance was 1.5 this distance was 1.5 meter and this distance is now not 1.5 and when you cut it you will be having a reaction force which is nbb you will be having a shear force along this vertical shear force sorry this surface is vertical not it's it's not this surface is let me take like this because section bb is this one this is your section bb okay b b so you will be having a shear force in this direction that this is V B B clear and you will be having a moment M B B. So we will find this by using equation of equilibrium. So you can see that here this B B is vertical and it's making angle of 45 degree. Also this is 45 degree. So if this beam is this line is 45 so it means that this angle is 45 degree so if i draw a horizontal line over here this is 45 degree this total is 90 degree and the sum of this angle plus this plus this must be equal to 180 degree so it means that this angle is also 45 degrees so you can see that you will have two component of this 5 kilo newton one is this and the second one is this clear this component will be equal to 5 into sine of 45 degree and this component will be 5 into cos of 45 degrees this component now apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive. So you can see about x axis we have one load is this one the second one is this nbb and third one is this one their sum must be equal to zero. So this is positive this is negative and this is also negative. So I will write uh, 5 into cos of 45 degree minus 5.303 minus nbb is equal to 0. So you will get nbb will be equal to 1.768 kilo newton and this value is uh, negative also so it means that our resume direction is wrong 
NBB should be in this direction. Now we will find this VBB for that we will apply equilibrium equation that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So along vertical we have VBB we have this vertical component which is 5 into sine of 45 and the other one is this um, vertical component no vertical component because we have taken horizontal component is like this one so what will be the VBB VBB and minus this 5 kilonewton 5 kilonewton into sine of 45 minus 5 into sine of 45 degree is equal to 0 so it means that VBB will out comes out to be 3.54 kilo Newton and the last thing is that movement MBB so for that we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all movement about point C is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so this was your point C so about point C the movement is external movement which is MBB that is clockwise so I will write minus MBB the other movement that is produced due to this uh, 5 kilo Newton load and perpendicular distance between this 5 and C is 1.5 and this is also producing clockwise so it will be negative so I will write minus 5 into 1.5 and the third movement that is produced is the vertical component of this force which is F3.303 into sine of 45 and perpendicular distance is 3 and this is also producing counterclockwise movement so it will be positive so I will write plus 5.303 into sine of 45 degree into perpendicular distance 3 is equal to 0 so when you calculate it you will get m b b will be equal to 3.75 kilo newton into meter which is the movement at section b b so these n b b v b b and n b b is internal loading at section b b and that was all about this problem 1-17 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also leave your comment about this video thank you so much